Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Week 32 team selection video. Didn't realize I didn't have my background uh, uh, on for the last video, but we got it back. Um, and here is going to be the lineup for this week. I am planning on rolling my transfer. I don't like only having one. It doesn't allow for very much flexibility. I'm kind of happy with my potential starting 11. I only have one flag in Scalvini. He did not play... Um, in the uh, game for Europe this week uh, against in their big win against Liverpool. What a win that was uh, for Atalanta there. But uh, yeah, so Scalvini didn't play. So that's kind of my only question mark right now. But I'm pretty happy with the majority of the squad and it gives me a little bit more flexibility next week. We are getting to that point in the season uh, where like for any number of games kind of makes a player useless because there's not that many game weeks left. Uh, but I'll definitely give Scalvini the week as he has been a great player all, all uh, year so far. Um, so first up, my captain and vice captain this week, Latour Martinez for Cagliari is going to take the captaincy. Osim Hen will take vice captaincy. Uh, Martinez has been a little disappointing as of recent, um, but we'll see if he can turn around. And if not, it might be time to uh, move on from that cap de captaincy decision and look elsewhere. Uh, Xerxes also been kind of cold since coming back from injury, facing Monza, hoping that he can find some goals there as he couldn't against Frosinone. Uh, with Dybala back, got an assist in the last match. Uh, hopefully he can continue uh, getting attacking returns against Udinese. Uh, Ederson, I'm expecting probably another five, six pointer that he usually gets. Goodmanson's been in really good form though. And uh, it'll be tough for him against Fiorentina, but he could definitely get the job done there. Maybe a penalty. Whereas Nico Gonzalez will be running the other way. But again, facing Genoa. There's potential for there to be goals both ways. I don't have any defenders from either team, so I'm be happy with goals going either way there. In the defense, we have Bremer, DiMarco, and Rahmani. Uh, Napoli's been somewhat disappointing defensively. Hopefully, they can turn that around. Um, and Torati in net against Napoli. He had a great clean sheet in the last game, and I'm going to take a keeper against Napoli over Inter uh, with the way that this year has gone. I do want Scalvini in first as a sub if he doesn't play, or uh, if he does play, sorry, and one of my players don't. Otherwise, Bellanueva and Sula will come in after that. But that is how the team's lining up. There's still no news on the double game week uh, where the Fiorentina and uh, Atalanta game will be filled in. There's another reason to not get rid of Scalvini. Um, but... Yeah, there's. I wouldn't say there's any other news on that. I don't think there's any prominent player this week. Obviously, Milan did well last week, having the Milan midfield layout or Pulisic. Uh, they're good players to have in right now, although I'm not sure how great their fixtures are. Um, but yeah, I would say try to focus on having two Atalanta, two Fiorentina if you really want to make a um transfer because that game week's got to be coming up in the next six seven weeks so and i'm not sure that they would wait to put it right on to the very end anyway that's all i got for you today hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will talk to you soon take care